Hello, my name is Andy, and I am the village idiot. And I'm armed with a car and a GoPro, and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to a very rainy, yet again, district of Selby. If anything, it's raining more now than it has been in the last three episodes which you've seen in this district. I'm beginning this one on an airfield, and I shall also end on this airfield too. This is a very small place alongside the River Ouse. This is Acaster Selby. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Acaster Selby is a village in the Selby district of North Yorkshire, forming part of a joint parish council with Appleton Roebuck, where the population is now included. It remains a separate civil parish in its own right, which is why it has its own episode, and rightly so, because if this were tied together with Appleton Roebuck, some of the more interesting stuff out here would not be covered. Let's begin with the basics. It's situated about six miles south of York on the west bank of the River Ouse. On the opposite bank is the settlement of Stillingfleet, and Appleton Roebuck is 1.3 miles away to the northwest. It's a truly agricultural settlement, lying on a dead end road that at times, while I was walking around, was heaving with farm machinery. College Farm is one of the farms here, which I believe to be this one at the north of the village. Although I'm on a footpath here, this is where my route plan went a bit wrong. So rather annoyingly, I was trying my best to get to the riverbank here because it would have given me a circular route. There's a footpath here, which you've just seen, but there's no access from that footpath over to the riverbank, which is literally just there. There's a gate here which says private, no fishing, but obviously I can't go through that. And I'm not about to try walking down the side of down the side of the, the field because that drain looks quite deep. So that's annoying. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back the other way. College Farm has some history to speak of. It's named after a former college or chantry, which was dissolved during the reign of Henry VIII. Named St Andrew's College, it was founded in 1470 by Robert Stillington, Bishop of Bath and Wells. It was dissolved in around 1548, but the schoolmaster, William Gegoltson, was retained as master and curate to serve the 200 residents of Acaster. The moated site is roughly square, forming an island 60 metres across. The moat ditch is well preserved, typically one and a half metres deep. Back into civilization, here's the parish notice board which alludes to its connection with Appleton Roebuck. Next, let's discuss the name Acaster Selby. The name is derived from the Latin word for a camp, which is castra, indicating that the Roman army may have once been based near here. There was a supposed encampment which was thought to have provided protection of the waterway to Tancaster, however, there are no signs remaining of it. The use of Selby indicates that the lands were brought within the control of Selby Abbey. This was done by Osbert de Arches at the time of the Norman Conquest and confirmed in the reign of Richard I. I've got to tell you, with uh, this being a predominantly farming area, a lot of this makes me feel like I'm back home <laughs> because I'm so used to seeing buildings such like as these and farm machinery all around and the smell as well, the smell of the the countryside in the air. The village is listed in the Doomsday Book as a castra in the Wapentake of Ainsty in the West Riding of Yorkshire, having 11 households under the Lordship of Woolston. It's flanked to the west by the grounds of Nun Appleton, mentioned last week in the Appleton Roebuck episode. This gate blocks access to a road called the Avenue which leads to it, and there's no public right of way. Across the road from that is a small chapel sited on the bank of the Ouse. After my previous disappointment at trying to access the riverbank, I continued south in the hope of finding the riverbank path. 
This takes us into another small residential area, so that's a good time to talk demographics. The population of Acaster Selby has decreased dramatically in recent centuries. According to the 1881 census, the population was 115. The 2001 census showed a population of just 56 in 20 households. As such, there's no detailed data I can give you for Acaster Selby, as all that information is now tied together with Appleton Roebuck. The average house price data is also unavailable, but to give you an idea, the two main farms here are valued at well over £600,000, according to Zoopla. So it's the same story at the other end of the village as well, guys, I'm afraid. Google Maps reckons there's a footpath beyond those houses you can see in the distance that runs alongside the River Ouse. It's not a footpath. It's never been a footpath, not in a month of Sundays. It goes through somebody's garden. Um, <laughs> That cannot be a public footpath. So uh, I'm just gonna have to walk back the way I came. On the way though, I will see if there's a, a chance, potentially, to access the chapel that's over there, church or chapel, watch it, whichever it is. I did spot a footpath which runs across this field. Whether or not that one takes me to the chapel, I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. So here's the gate that potentially leads up to the chapel slash church. I'm not totally sure if this is private or not. Let's go and have a look. I don't know what I was worried about. A quick internet search revealed that this is indeed publicly accessible. It even has its own community Facebook page. Services take place on the second Sunday of each month at 3 p.m. Its dedication is to St. John the Evangelist and the building dates from 1850. The locals know it as the Church in the Field and it's a Grade 2 listed building. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the uh, main village of Acaster Selby. Um, I can see the ooze from here behind this house, but obviously I haven't managed to get to the riverbank, so I can't capture it in this episode. I can see it, but uh, <laughs> that's as much as I can see. You can't see it, obviously, from this distance. The camera will not zoom in that far. Okay, there's no picture bit for you today, uh, and we're not quite finished either. I've got one more thing to show you. Most of Acaster Selby's land to the north is covered by an airfield, an old airfield, and that's RAF Acaster, watch me mispronounce this, Malbis. Is it Acaster Malbis? That's a parish that's over the uh, border into York, and we will cover that at some point. But the airfield mostly falls within Acaster Selby, and that's where I'm going now. A lot of Acaster Selby is taken up to the north by the former RAF Acaster Malbis. This was developed from a small grass airfield at the beginning of the Second World War. It was a satellite airfield for RAF Church Fenton. Its main use was as a training base for RAF Bomber Command, before being used by RAF Maintenance Command from 1944 until 1957. The site was decommissioned in 1963 and sold off, but by the mid-1970s it was used by light aircraft transporting businessmen and jockeys for horse racing season lasting until the mid-1980s. The airfield today still has bits of the old runways and perimeter tracks, with hangars and dispersals easy to spot. The site also has two small industrial estates, Brockett Industrial Estate and Waterline Industrial Estate, the latter named as such due to its proximity to the River Ouse. So I will finish where I started here on the airfield. Acaster Selby, very agricultural rural settlement here alongside the banks of the Ouse. Would have liked to have walked down the Ouse, but never mind, that didn't happen. Uh, so yeah, at least at least we still had plenty to talk about, especially here on the airfield at the former RAF Acaster Malbis. Time for me to go to my next one here in Selby, and hopefully the rain will have stopped by then. <laughs> I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot, and this has been the Parish of Acaster Selby, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.